Oh, racist trash, Valentina Gomez, Missouri Republican. Oh, she called Juneteenth the most ratchet holiday. She doesn't believe in reparations for slavery. And if you're black and you don't like the country, get out. Go. She's only 25 years old. You know, I've been told a lot of times that when the old dogs go to their time and put they go into the, the, the bone and they can't chew no more, that the young pups will come along and they won't be as hateful and spiteful. I've been told that. And I laughed. I laughed at the notion. Because what people don't understand is like cooking recipes and how to do things. People pass it down. And they don't. They pass down the most hateful, spiteful thing. Now, Valentino Gomez is of Mexican descent. But maybe the brown is in the roots, but not in the soul. She spoke this venom with such Trump supporters. I want people to understand when these black folks who sold out and tap dance and shuffle for Trump, that this is a Trump supporter. You know, everybody says black and brown got to stick together. But yet this brown didn't get the memo. She don't care about no black. She's leaning towards white. And other people of that descent can sometimes portray themselves as white. I've already told you about my Jennifer Lopez, Fat Joe, you know, Oscar De La Hoya. When, when um, you know. When they want to be down, they go, they stick around. But when they want to go white, they snow white like, t like Ted Cruz. I tell you how this goes. You have no friends. You have no source of inspiration. She's 25 years old and got this kind of venom. What will she be like at 50? If you think about this, she just, she's young adulthood and already has this kind of venom against black people. Who been in hurry here to tell her that? I guess Trayvon Martin didn't really register to her. Because hmm. she was a teenager when Trayvon Martin got lynched. And I guess George Floyd, hmm, that just didn't really, just didn't really hit. You wonder how they get to build like this. But yet, if it happens to see a culture, they want reparation, want inclusions. Well, imagine if if Trump really told her how he felt about Mexican folks. What would she do? You know, she's so young to be so spiteful. But she knows that black folks are just, it's just, you don't like it, go. You don't like it, we don't want you. And she's in the same state. As that Bonnie and Clyde couple who put guns up when black lives people were walking and they put their guns at folks. You see how the, the apples and the trees aren't that far apart? You know, she's already letting it be known. We ain't going to give you nothing. We don't care about you. But who's been in your ear? Because you're just a puppy in the big stream of things. How do you get to be so hateful at 25? You ain't really been around, or have you? Who been in your ear? What did you see? Let's see. Let me rewind the clock. Let's go back 10 years ago. Oh, God, your teenage years were so horrible. Your preteens to your teenage years with that, that Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, those about, oh, oh. Somebody got in her ear all early. Mm -hmm. Oh, Colin Kaepernick. Oh, how dare you take it? Oh, 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 oh. Think about it. And they tell me that it's only the old ones who are hateful. Hmm. She's 25. She's still a pup. This is what you deal with. Yes, Jim Crowisms, and even for non white, it gets spread if you play your role. And believe me, she's going to play her role. I'm surprised she's not going by the name uh, Valerie uh, Johnson or something. Because the name don't fit with your ethnicity to be so hateful so young. But then again, it's par for the course. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share them if you like. I'm out. Peace.